So Corey, now we're gonna talk about using the remote controller or the transmitter. On the remote controller for the Inspire, we have a lot of extra buttons and switches and dials and gizmos, as you probably noticed. Let's start on the front here. Yeah. We already learned that this is the power button and just like the intelligent flight battery, we'll hit it once and then again to power it on. Same for powering it off. Okay. We have this switch here. Mm -hmm. And when we move this switch, that's the transformation switch. Okay, so once we get up there, we can flip the switch and it will make those rays. Okay. In the middle of the transformation switch, there's a button here. This is the return to home button. Is that like a homing beacon? Kinda. So Damn, wherever I we love it. wherever we took the aircraft off from, if we hit this button, it is going to automatically raise to a, a certain altitude and fly back to that home point and land itself. Or lower to, at a certain altitude to fly back in the case if it was really high, right? Via the app, we can tell it what altitude to go to Safest. before it lands itself. Right. Yeah, so if you know you're flying around some high buildings or high trees, you want to set that limit really high. Perfect. Yep. So uh, it's kind of like your own homemade pigeon. Also an electronic boomerang of sorts. 